the entrance antiphon in the midst of the church he opened his mouth and the lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding and clothed him in a robe of glory alleluia In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I just need to get rid of the echo now, I'm sorry. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Isn't technology wonderful? I can monitor you here on my uh, iPad here, and see all your messages coming up. And so, welcome to those who have uh, said hello this morning, and to those who haven't. Uh, Kate, let's see, Kate, Leslie, Sue, Susan, Teresa, Grace, Claire, John, Betty, uh, me, uh, Alison, uh, and Deacon Michael, of course, Margaret, Veronica, Wendy, Pauline, Joyce, Maria, Anne, Bernadette, Joyce again, <laughs> Stella, and oh, I'm, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. That's which is wonderful, of course, but I can't read all those names out. I'll be here all day. It's wonderful to welcome you all here to church, uh, to St Mary's here in Cannock. If you're a parishioner, you're very, very welcome. If you're somebody who's visiting, so to speak, virtually, you're extremely welcome too. And uh, we come together to celebrate this Mass. Today is the feast day of St Anselm, who was an Archbishop of Canterbury in the end, end of the 11th century, beginning of the 12th century, very important writer and teacher. And if you've got any six formers in your families who are studying philosophy at school, they will have heard of him. Uh, he was the proponent of something called the ontological argument. And you'll be delighted to know I'm not going to be explaining that to you during Mass today. Perhaps you can ask them to tell you about it. So as we come together to celebrate this Mass, let's call to mind our sins. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who led the bishops and Anselm to seek out and teach the depths of your wisdom, grant, we pray, that our faith in you may so aid our understanding that what we believe by your command may give delight to our hearts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. I'm delighted that we've got parishioners who are recording the readings which we're doing each day uh, at the masses. Um, one of the challenges of our technology is that there's only one microphone, so I have to make sure the microphone can pick up uh, without too much echo. So that's what I'm going to do now. But the first reading today is, and the psalm indeed, is being led by Claire Jackson. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole group of believers was united, heart and soul. No one claimed for his own use anything that he had, as everything they owned was held in common. The apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus with great power, and they were all given great respect. None of their members was ever in want as all those who owned land or houses would sell them and bring the money from them to present it to the apostles. It was then distributed to any members who might be in need. There was a Levite of Cypriot origin called Joseph, whom the apostles surnamed Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He owned a piece of land and he sold it and brought the money and presented it to the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to, Thanks be to God. 
the response to the psalm, the Lord is king with majesty enrobed. The Lord is king. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. The world you made firm, not to be moved. Your throne has stood firm from of old, from all eternity. O Lord, you are. The Lord is King with majesty enrobed. Truly, your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting to your house, O Lord, until the end of time. The Lord is King with majesty enrobed. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Don't be surprised when I say you must be born from above. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you can't tell where it comes from or where it's going. That is how it is with all who are born of the Spirit. How can that be possible, asked Nicodemus. You, a teacher in Israel, and you don't know these things, replied Jesus. I tell you most solemnly, we speak only about what we know and witness only to what we've seen. And yet you people reject our evidence. If you don't believe me when I speak about things in this world, how are you going to believe me when I speak to you about heavenly things? No one's gone up to heaven except the one who came down from heaven, the Son of Man who's in heaven. And the Son of Man must be lifted up as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We now come to our prayers. We have many petitions for prayer, including some uh, this morning, which I suppose you might call immediate or urgent petitions. And also, uh, each day we'll have a particular focus for prayers, as we have so many, it gives us a chance to concentrate on some rather than me just reading them very quickly. So on Tuesdays, the focus is Thanksgivings. And then just to let you know, Wednesdays will be for the sick, Thursdays for key workers, and Friday for the holy souls. So we pray for all those urgent prayers, those who have been asked in the last uh, day or so. And then also we make particular prayer at Thanksgivings. So those uh, prayers which were brought into our attention uh, in the last few days or have been asked for particularly. Uh, there are two anniversaries of death which we remember at this time. Vera Bauka, whose anniversary of death falls this day. She shared, uh, actually it's not anniversary of death, it's, it would be a 98th birthday, it's an anniversary remembered. And she shared, shares a birthday with Her Majesty the Queen as well, of course, as you probably realise. And then we also pray uh, for uh, the soul of Emma Cartwright Keegan. First anniversary of her death was yesterday. We pray for, uh, pray for her soul and for all those who, of course, continue to mourn her great loss. We pray for a petitioner, uh, share our prayers with a petitioner who's got a job interview coming up in the next few weeks. We pray also for uh, a woman called Sarah, for her husband, Michael, daughters, Chloe and Charlie. Uh, who has just been tested positive for the virus and our prayers are very much with, with her at this time. And we make our thanksgivings as we do this day. A particular one today, thanksgiving for my wife Shirley's return from hospital after a short stay in New Cross with a dislocated knee and the excellent care. Uh, we're de delighted with the way in which she was uh, looked after and treated uh, over the weekend as this happens, so we're great thanks there to the paramedics and so on, doctors and so on. Other thanksgivings too, um, 
a grandson for, of, for Monica. Uh, um, <coughs> Emily had a birthday a week ago, Deacon Paul and Anne and Pat and John, who celebrated wedding anniversaries recently. Winifred Haynes, whose birthday was just a couple of weeks ago, June 95. Trevor Green, who's making good progress after being sick. Uh, and Jared, also getting better, very grateful to the key worker who helped him. And also to Mick of this parish, who's, as he says, 90% 90, 90 recovered from the virus. Uh, and is giving great thanks for that too. So we also, of course, continue to pray for key, key workers, for all those who are sick. And for all the holy souls, we remember particularly this Mass, of course, Janet Summerfield, to whom this Mass is offered. And we offer all these prayers up to God and ask for his great mercy, his compassion, his forgiveness and his love. of this water and this one can share the divinity of Christ as one himself to share in our humanity. my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church I accept this sacrifice from your people we pray O lord and make what is offered for your glory in honor of blessed Anselm a means to eternal salvation through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St Anselm you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, 
he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Bernard, our Bishop, William and David, his assistants, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Janet Summerfield, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, with St. Thomas More, with blessed John Sugar, with St. Anselm and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him. And with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. And now let's greet one another across time and space in the peace of Christ. Peace be with you all. On your stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. Behold a faithful and prudent steward to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Alleluia. <laughs>
invite you now to make your own act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire passionately, I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. Well, I hope you've uh, enjoyed Mass. It's great to have you here with me. Um, Mass would be, so many priests all over the world say Mass privately, as we say. Um, and, uh, and it's so wonderful to know that people are joined with us in their prayers, in your act of spiritual communion. Uh, and in your presence and little messages that come up on the screen here, which I'm not trying not to look at. Um, but, uh, but thank you so much. And, uh, you, you know, your kindness as well has been shown by in the last few days when my wife's been uh, in a lot of discomfort, actually, but I mean, f thankfully very safe um, and uh, been to hospital. And there's been so, so many messages and uh, of great kindness. And, uh, and I'm sure uh, that, that the sort of response that we're re receiving is what you're giving to other people too so you know it's it's a wonderful thing there are so many difficult things about this time uh, and yet also uh, so much uh, wonderful about the way the goodness which people show so thank you very much personally but also uh, generally it's really important oh, i've ranted on a bit now never mind uh, so let's uh, now make our final prayers and uh, so we can bring this mass to its uh, conclusion and begin our day let us pray. May the sacrament we received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which blessed Anselm burned ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. said at the beginning I was going to say a bit more about St Anselm and I didn't. Well, I've said enough, so I won't do that now. But if you go into Wikipedia, there's quite a good article there. And also there's a thing called the Catholic Encyclopedia. Um, if you look that St Anselm, look him up on there. Again, there's a very good article, quite a long article there, but very detailed. And uh, he was a great saint, um, came from, uh, born in Italy, uh, worked in France, in Normandy, came to this country to be Archbishop and all reorganised the church after the Norman Conquest. And uh, was a great theologian, spiritual writer. There you are. That's it in a nutshell. God bless. Have a great day. <laughs>